How's it going, guys? Anthony from Innovation and Tech Today here at CES 2018. I'm with Charlie and David here from Reverie. Actually, if you want to take a look here, how are you guys doing today? Good, fantastic. <laughs> We're doing good. Uh, enjoying the show so far, though? It is, it's not your first time, correct? It's, uh, it's actually our first time here. Yeah, it's our first time uh, being at um, CES, but it's... Um, it's our second time actually like checking the show out. Oh, very, very nice. Well, what do you guys have to show off today? So we actually have a concept that um, here, we call it an integrated slip system. So what we does is we're actually combining the mattress and the uh, adjustable foundation into one single unit. By doing that, we actually enable us to um, put in some tags um, inside the unit to actually help people to sleep better. So if you could tell me like a little bit more about uh, some of the features of the bed as well. Yeah, sure. So um, this is Reverie's concept bed. Um, it has the heated feet, uh, dual tilt on both sides. It has a pressure map on one side of the bed that actually, based off of your pressure displacement on the mattress, it will tell you the exact uh, comfort level and firmness that your uh, bed should have. It also has uh, Alexa enabled. Um, it has a zoning speaker system, dual zone speaker system. Now let's talk about the brainwave sensor. Now I immediately went to Jedi, of course, because I'm a giant nerd. Uh, <laughs> if you could tell me a little bit about that, please. Yeah, um, so we have a sensor in the bed that actually allows us to read your alpha, beta, and delta um, brainwaves. From a practical point of view, um, we can actually focus on the delta brainwave, which allows us to tell when you're going uh, to fall asleep, when you're entering REM sleep, or if you're having intermittent sleep throughout the night. So you can actually be incredibly accurate uh, sleep tracking that isn't based off of movement or temperature or anything like that, but actually what your brain is doing because your brain is the thing that's actually going to sleep. But uh, for demo purposes, it's actually really hard to have someone lay here and go to sleep and <laughs> to right. see you know their 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 uh, results and uh, their their scan. So what we decided to focus on instead was the alpha and beta waves, and by doing that, we can actually tell when you're focusing. So to make it a little bit of a game, the more that you focus, all of a sudden the uh, head of the bed will start to move up. So you will just move the bed with your mind, kind of like a Jedi. That's awesome. Oh, that's so, so cool, man. So, you want to try it out? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is to show you uh, the demo of the Jedi mind control is that it's going to focus on active focusing. Okay, so I want you to focus on me when I'm talking to you, or you pick a point, for example, the reverie symbol up top there, or the banner someplace, and... As you're focusing on it, you're going to start moving. It's about a second delay between the starting and the stopping. So, you, And also one of the other things is that you're going to notice is that it'll start moving. You'll go, oh, my God, it's moving, and then it'll stop because you literally stop focusing. So you'll notice things as it goes. And um, ready for the ride? We'll try it out. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see if you can focus. I'm not good at focusing, man. My brain is just too powerful. All right, it's on. I want, I want to go ahead and point out that no one is doing any type of controls. I don't, I don't have anything in my hand except for the mic. It's like a magic trick almost. Nothing up my sleeves. Yeah, see, I'll, yeah, exactly. You said, oh my God, that's awesome. so cool. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, stop. and then it stopped. Now, just stop talking for a second, and you just go ahead and you just, you can either listen to me, you can keep listening to me if you want to, okay. or you can focus on anything else that you really want to. As you're listening yeah, to me, I'm you're noticing. You're focusing now. You're focusing <laughs> on me, yep, and then you started laughing and yeah, it stopped. Yeah, yeah. Did you notice that? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Let me try, let me try one more time, maybe up here. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool, <laughs> man. That's awesome. Keep going, keep oh, going. Yeah. Perfect placement for that logo, too, up there. Oh, yeah. Did you notice it once again when you were talking to him? It started moving up again? Now, one of the other things that we notice is that your brain, um, as you focus on something, it kind of gets used to it. So that active yeah, that yeah. active uh, concentration no longer happens because it kind of gets your brain literally gets used to it. That's why when talking to you for a while, but you're actually taking in new information, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. have to focus on what I'm saying, as I'm moving up, but you may focus on a point for a long time. Eventually, it'll stop moving because your brain's getting used to it. Oh man, that's so cool! Yeah, I really, really like this. Yeah. All that I need now is like if it can actually get me out of bed for me. It, I'm, I'm, I'm working on we're that. We're working on it. We're working. I'm not, on it. I'm not that focused. <laughs> and just want to point out once again that the module is a touchless and wireless EEG sensor. 
So you normally have to wear the cap, you know, when you see it in the movies or in the lab or something like that, they wear the whole cap thing. Yeah, and it's still going up as you're losing. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't, it won't fold you in half. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Um, it's the exact same thing, and we're reading the exact same data, except it's wireless. And I just want to point again, once again, while you're listening to me telling you about it, it keeps moving up because you're actively focusing on what I'm saying. So, pretty cool. This is awesome, All yeah. Right. How do you feel about it? So, that? so good. I love this, man. It's so, I think, no, no, I, I, so there's no wires here, as you can see. Uh, David Copperfield, I think, is somewhere around here, but he has nothing to do with this booth, which is nice. I think he's over at Sony right now. Well, as you can see, I loved the Reverie bed here, and, uh, well, I only slept about three hours last night, so uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to be the rest of the show. So I'll see you guys next time. This is Anthony with Innovation and Tech Today.